Hello and welcome to my channel and today we've got a requested video. So this is high-end mascaras trying different brands to see if they're worth the money and how much they cost and um, you'll see footage of me actually using it so you can see how well it goes on. So I've got quite a few different brands in here um, and I'll give my opinions as we go along. Okay, so here we have the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara, just in a mini to try. Lovely applicator, I really like that. Now, I have, I have used this a couple of times, so I've sort of worn it in a little bit, and I have to say I love it. So let's go with the bottom lashes to start with. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a mirror just at the side of me to uh, apply it. Look at that, it goes straight on really well. The one thing I've se I've noticed about this mascara is I don't get in too much of a mess when I'm using it. Don't tend to get much fallout underneath. And it catches all the lashes, look at that. That's just one, one little light touch. It's getting all my individual lashes. Fabulous. So what this does is, um, it says in the write-up about it that it actually builds individual lashes so it sort of builds per lash rather than a lot of volumizing um, mascaras tend to um, sort of work on clumping your lashes together whereas this goes on each individual one right so as you can see that's just one um, application i've not got too much mess underneath normally i get it everywhere but i'm just going to neaten it up a little bit with a cotton bud what i quite like to do with this one because oh, it's just it's so fabulous i like to sort of flick it away a bit sort of brush the lashes away which i don't know it's sort of a bit feline isn't it and it opens your eyes up a little bit so that's just one coat. Right, so that is just one coat. Absolutely love this stuff, it's fabulous. Just gonna have a little bit more on the top and bottom now. So full size, this is only a mini, but full size, this is 25 pounds 50. And I think I'm gonna say, as a treat, as a special occasion mascara, I would pay it because I think it's fantastic. I only need a little bit more, not a lot at all. And another thing I like about this one, it's so quick, it goes on so quickly. If I'm ever in a rush, and I've not got long to put mascara on, I always reach for this one. So that's the finished look without any eyeliner on. I'll come in close so you can see. Wow, absolutely wow. So today's the turn of Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2. I've never tried any Charlotte Tilbury uh, mascara, so I've not tried Volume 1. Right, so let's give it a go. Got a nice big um, brush applicator there. So only thing is my fringe is in the way of it. Right, let's see how we get on. So this is £25. And it's uh, supposed to give massive volume to your eyelashes it's gone on it's a little bit clumpy actually look at that oh dear maybe i've got too much on the brush let's see if i can get a bit off you certainly don't need it goes on the lashes very quickly don't need a lot of this at all it's supposed to be very long wearing and smudge proof really lengthened my lashes going on really nicely on that top one i think i had too much on the brush when i first started so a little tip with mascaras or a couple of tips don't keep pumping them like that because um, it pushes air oxygen or air into the um the tube and then that that starts to dry the product out and what i also do before i use mascara i always warm it up so I will hold it in my hand before I use it and it helps to just soften the product inside the, um, the tube and it goes on much better. Yeah, that's nice, look at that. 
That's just one application. Right, so that, that's incredible. That's just one application. And for me, I think that's going to be enough today. I've only got quite a light makeup on. Uh, it's not made too much mess. A little bit, but again, I think that was my own fault. Yeah. Look at that. Very nice. So next up we've got Estee Lauder's and this is the Sumptuous Extreme and this is their Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. Um, this one, I'm just looking over here, is £26 uh, in the colour Extreme Black. So let's give this a go. Let's see what the brush is like. Wow, that's quite a long brush. Okay, so let's give it a go. We'll just do one coat like I've doing the others. Seems to be picking up the lashes quite well. So I'm just going to read you a few bits from the website as to what this one says. It says lashes seem to multiply, magnify and grow to extremes. So the brush is um, an oversized brush coma extreme. So it th thickens like a brush and then defines and separates like a comb. So it's sort of a, a two-in-one brush. It's very long. Not too much mess underneath. So that's one. So what I'd say about this, it seems quite a soft formula. Um, uh, not dry. So it does say it's sort of like a bit like a mousse. Yeah, that's going on really well. So it says it separates your lashes quite well and makes them look like you've got more. I would tend to agree with that. Not so much for uh, lengthening, but certainly creating the look of more, more lashes. It says it's supposed to be quite similar to... Um, when you wear false lashes, that sort of effect that when you put false lashes on, you have a lot more lashes, a lot more hairs. And I would say this is doing the same. But that is only one coat. And I don't think I'm going to need much more than that. That's gone on really quickly, very evenly. So that's that one on. I'm very, very impressed with that. For me, just one coat is very unusual, so that is excellent. It was really quick to put on. I like the feel of it, the texture of it. Really like the brush. Um, yeah, so I'm very impressed with that one. So the final one in this video is a Chanel one. It's called Le Volume Stretch de Chanel. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Another, um, just a mini size, all of these have just been minis that I've been able to get hold of. So this is in noir, which is black of course, and this has got a very fancy brush. Can you see how that twists around? So, I'm intrigued to see how this works. A uh, full size, this is £30, so the most expensive one we've tried in this little uh, review. So let's give it a go, let's start. So this mascara is supposed to volume and lengthen lashes. And I've just realised straight away I've not been using the brush how you're supposed to use it. So what it says is from, I'll, I'll probably be able to show you on the top better, you're supposed to twist the brush as you go up. So from the roots, twist as you go up. So it's a 3D printed, I'm not quite sure why it's 3D, 3D printed brush and it is, it says it should have good flexibility and then what it's supposed to do, I can't do that on the bottom one, that's going to be too difficult, it says you're supposed to catch the lash, roll and then lengthen and rotate it out, well that's not happening on the bottom is it, that's causing a bit of a mess. Yeah, that, I think I've got too much on the brush. It's going very clumpy. 
I'm going to have to sort that out. That's not good. That's made an absolute pig's ear of that lot. Well, that, let me just sort it out to make it look a bit neater. Just one moment. So that's one coat. So that is no way near um, as good as the others that I've used so far. I definitely need a second coat on that. But let's do this eye and see if we get on any better with it. I suppose if you... I don't get how you can twist it with small lashes at the bottom because they're so short. Let's go back to the old-fashioned uh, way on the bottom lash. Now that does not catch the lashes as quickly as the other mascaras that I've tried in these videos. From the root, roll out. To be honest, I think this rolling out technique you could just do with any normal brush. This doesn't necessarily make it any, uh, any more fancy. I think it's a bit of a fad if I'm being honest. Bit of a gimmick. Right, so that's the first um, layer. It's dropped out on my face. There's some bits that have splashed out already. It actually feels quite dry. Some of the other mascaras I've said feel soft or quite moist, but this one feels pretty dry actually. And I have already tried it. I've worn it, um, I wore it to work the other day and I noticed it did. I had quite a lot of fallout for, from it. So for 30 pounds, I think this has been my least favourite out of the four that I've tried. Let's just give it another go in the old fashioned way. It's dried very quick and layering it up to the second layer because it's dried. No, it, it's not taking a second layer very well either. It's, it feels, well, it's already dried. With some mascaras, you can go in a second layer when, when it's dried already, but this feels as if I should have done it a bit earlier and not let it dry. So that's gone a bit clumpy. I'm going to just use this Real Techniques lash separator just to take off the clumpiness. Now that's interesting. Look how much mascara that's taken off. It's nearly took the whole lot off. <laughs> so I've gone off screen and finished that off. That took me absolutely ages to get them to this look. Um, this is how I would normally like to wear mascara. It's crumbled. I've used that lash divider to separate them and each time I've done it it's fallen off. I would go as far to say I never will use that ever again. I shall keep it as an emergency but for £30 if I'd paid full price for that I'd be asking for my money back. But yeah, let me know what you think on that one. It'd be interesting actually to hear if any of you ever used it if um, you've had a better experience than me. Right, so let's do a roundup of the three. So we've got the Bobby Brown Smoky Eye, we've got the Estee Lauder uh, Lash Multiplying Mascara, and then we've got the Charlotte Tilbury, and then finally the, the Chanel. So let's put them in an order. I actually think the order I'm going to put them in is the order that I filmed them in. The Bobbi Brown is my absolute favourite. This is now my favourite mascara of all time. I've um, I filmed some of these quite a while ago, so I've been using that since. And each time I've used it, as I said it on the video, it's really quick. It's long wearing, never get fallout, gives you loads of lovely long lashes. That by far is my favourite. And then I would go for second, I think I'd go for the Estee Lauder. I like the brush on that one. I like that it gave me a lot of extra lashes. The wear of it was good. Um, just very similar, those two, but that's just got the edge on it. That just, I felt that that makes your lashes just look a bit um, more pristine, maybe. They're a little bit more, teeny weeny weeny bit more um, clumpy with that, or thicker, should I say. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury, yeah, that was nice. Is it worth the money? Not sure. Nice mascara, um, but there has been quite a bit of hype about that. This, the volume two apparently is so much better than volume one. But yeah, I like it, but... Mm -mm. 
And then the, the Chanel, what a disappointment that was. I really thought that was gonna be the best one by far, but I'm afraid not. Be really interested to hear if you've tried any of those or if you're now gonna go and try them on my recommendation. These are all sample sizes, which means I've not paid for them. So you are able to get these from the shops. You just need to ask. Um, and if any of you do try them or have tried them previously, please let me know in the comments box down below because I'd be really interested to hear your experience of them. Because as I said at the beginning, if I said that, I can't remember, everybody's eyelashes are different. You know, length, um, the look you like to achieve, all different. So yeah, would love to hear from you in the comment box down below. Or if you've got any recommendations for me to try. Let me know also if you'd like me to do a budget version of this. Um, would be very interested to see, I'd be interested to see how the, uh, the budget versions um, match up to the expensive ones. So please do give it a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not already and drop me a comment down below as I've just mentioned or asked you to do. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.